Back to our Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic wrap-up show. Now, nobody on the LPGA Tour has won more in the past three years than Arya Jatanagarn, but she fell just short of taking home the Sky Woman Trophy. On the other end of the spectrum, you have Yelimi No, who was the youngest golfer in the tournament and finished in the top ten in her very first professional event. Ryan Rodig has that story. It was a tough finish for ninth ranked Aria Jatanagarn, who has 10 career victories, but this year still searching for number one. Four top 10 finishes, and she made it interesting in the end with a birdie on 18, but she couldn't quite pull off the victory after leading for much of the final round. Overall, it's pretty good so far. Like today is like amazing for me because, you know, a little bit nervous, a little bit excited, but, you know, I handle it pretty good. On my tee shot, I hit perfect two iron and perfect egg iron. Like, can be better. And, you know, only two feet make a putt birdie. But, you know, Chan Chan also did an amazing job today and, you know, all the full round. It was also a tough finish for 17 year old Yelimi No, the Monday qualifier. Bogeyed on 18 to finish her round, but what a showing. Tied for sixth and finishing at 23 under par in her first LPGA Tour event as a pro. I'm just overall really happy with how I played and how I finished, too. It was um, my goal to be inside the top 10 for this week, and I'm really happy with how I finished. Um, that bogey was just, you know, it can't happen, but I'm really happy with um, who I got to play with and how I played. What did you think you learned from them on how they conduct themselves out here? Yeah, um, yesterday playing with the number one player in the world was a bit nerve wracking. Um, just seeing how composed she was and just really like expressionless and just um, like little things like skill wise, I was really impressed. And then I had a really great time with Amy today. We talked a lot and it was, it was a lot of fun. No, doesn't have to worry about qualifying next week. She's already received a sponsor's exemption to play in the Marathon Classic. Reporting from Thornberry Creek at Oneida, Ryan Rodig, Local 5 Sports.